I'm gonna show you a little adventurous thing that happened to me while I was driving Alley on the motorcycle. All right, we're driving around, having some fun and everything, and uh, about three or four blocks down the road, I noticed that the uh, bike started to vibrate a little bit. And I'm like, what the hell now? So I was like, all right, screw it. You know, it's probably just my chain vibrating a little bit too much or whatever. So I decided to floor it all the way down for about four or five blocks, okay? Making this horrible racket. I'm like, God dang it, what's going on? Remember when I uh, changed the seal? See that bolt right there? <laughs> that bolt, that bolt, this bolt, every single bolt is loose. This entire plate, you hear that? That's the whole plate. All of my oil spewed out, everything. And I'm flooring this thing with no oil in it. Yeah, I didn't know that was the problem. I thought I tightened those bolts down really good and tight. But, God, apparently not. I just went down, I lost one of the bolts out of the side. I don't know where that's at. And uh, I went out trying to look for it just a little bit ago. I jumped on my bicycle and went out there and looking for it. Couldn't find it but I could definitely see where I was driving because there was a trail of oil that totally spewed out of the whole side of the engine that goes on for like seven blocks. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to find a replacement bolt for that. Tighten all those down really good. From what I could tell, the gasket's still okay. But man, I couldn't believe it. We get down there and I look down at the, we get down to this one spot down the street here. And I look down and I'm like, what the hell is wrong with this stupid thing? I looked down in there and sure enough, I mean, I was losing power and everything. I'm like, what the hell? All this vibration and everything coming from the engine. I looked down and I see the whole side plate of the engine vibrating like this. I was like, Allie, get off, get off quick. Killed the engine, God. So yeah, needless to say, I lost all the oil and I probably drove the thing for like four or five blocks with no oil in it. God, I sure hope I didn't mess it up. But anyways, I'm now working on the A-arms for the uh, full screen machine. All right, well, got them all weld welded up. And just in a quick nutshell, this is what I did. Uh, these are the top, these are, no, these are the lower A-arms. And what I did is, since they're on, since they're going to be on the machine, at a 20 degree angle, I made sure that where my hem joints are going to be sticking out, they are at 15. Okay. So what you're looking at here is when I cut this piece here, this bar, I had this stuff left over. When I tack welded that bar into place, I then took my leftover junk, this chunk, stuck it in there, and then just use that as filler. See that? Now I'm going to be making, um, This is what I made today. This is the lower A arm. Now you can see where I've got this special note for this connection right here. You can't see it in a 3D picture, but this bar right here, which is the one that's welded at 15 degrees, I even put a little notation here. Be sure to look at the hem joint angle page. And that page is right here. Hem joint angle page. The arm, uh, maybe I should put that in here, but the arm will be at 20 degrees 
from the frame and this where the hem joint's going to go in at that piece will be offset by 15. I can't remember why I didn't make it even. Not right now. My brain ain't working right now. I'm too tired. But that's going to be offset by 15 because the arm will be adjusted down by 20. So tomorrow, the upper A arms are pretty much built the same way. It's just that these lower ones are at 45 degrees. And the upper arms are the same width up here, but they're just shorter. So when you go shorter, your angle is going to change. So I'm going to have a 50 degree angle up here in between these two pieces. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I don't think I'll do a video on that just because it's pretty much the same thing as what I did here. All right, guys. So I'm going to get in the house. I'm going to edit this video. And if you're if you want to watch more of an in-depth uh, video on what I did to put this together, you can follow the link down below, and it'll take you over to another website, video sharing website, and I'll have more of a in-depth uh, what I did with this thing. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, wish me luck on trying to get my engine working on the mo on the motorcycle. <laughs> Great, yeah. But I'm gonna get on out of here, guys. So take it easy. Thumbs up the video. And I'd like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers, guys. Holy cow. That's just crazy. You guys are coming from, I don't even know where the hell you guys are coming from. But anyways, I'm getting out of here, guys. I'm tired, and I'm going to go do my thing in the house. So, all right. See you later.